Beloved, beloved, I greet you in the name that is above every name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I just want to encourage my fellow street preachers, and if you are a believer and you are not actively reaching the laws, please, uh, it's not good. Don't don't continue like that. Okay, don't just minister in the church. The church, we are there to encourage each other. The real ministry of a Christian is outside the church. So somehow, some way, take your ministration outside the church to the people who need it the most. On Sunday, I was preaching after church, and there was a gentleman who stopped by and because he said, I said, if you are born once, you will die twice. And unless you are born twice, you will not escape the second death. It's something that I say every time I preach. I warn people. Uh, we discuss it shortly. And then there was a, a lady who visited our church about 10 years ago with an issue that the Lord revealed to us before she came. We pray for her and the Lord delivered her and healed her of 18 years of problem uh, but the church he goes an orthodox church the pastor couldn't help and then god healed and delivered uh, through our ministry and the pastor said she should stop coming to our place and come back she went back to the uh, former church again and the situation came worse with the sickness again and she's still carrying the situation and the sickness. So when she met me, she was excited. She told me about it and she said she's been going to places and places and they've been praying and nothing is happening. I didn't say anything because before she left, I told her that she should remember what Jesus said. These things, when they are gone, they go and they come back again. And if you, if you are not standing very well, they come worse than before. So, over 10 years, she's gone through worse situation. And I saw her. I wasn't happy, but there is nothing I can do. I didn't pray for her. But the reason why I'm sharing this with you is that there are people jumping from churches to churches for nothing. I mean, I've met a couple of people who have visited, used to fellowship with us, and they've gone to other places. And they've been honest to tell me that they've been jumping from church to church. They don't know exactly what they're looking for. And I knew that because I've told them before. You see, when people don't know who they are as Christians, they don't know what they are looking for, they will jump from church to church, church to church. It's like rolling stone. They don't know exactly why they are in church, what they are looking for. And it's, it's, it's sad. But there are lots of people doing that. And also... The reason why I want to also encourage my fellow street evangelists is this morning on my way to work, somebody stopped me and said, Mr. Preacher Man, I heard you preaching and you said, if we are born once, you will die twice. I said, yes. Sunday, somebody also was confused about that, want to know more. He said, yes, that's the reason why I've stopped you. I said, what's your reason? He said, to think about first death alone is traumatizing. To think of death, it, 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 it gives you nightmare, especially if doctors have told you that you have ailment that uh, you will not live longer. You are already dead from the very day they told you. You die before death comes. So you coming out, speaking in the ears of everybody that loud, and talking about second death when we dread the first death you are not making things good you are making things worse and you're making i'm sure i'm not the only person but you are making lots of people dread even going to bed to sleep i said wow i didn't know that he said so when you stand there and you are preaching those things what do you think you are giving people nightmares you're making people have sleepless night and you traumatizing people. I say, sir, anytime I say something like that, I also give an option because God always give an option. I told you there is a second death, but there's also a second birth. And if you are born again, the second time, 
by the spirit and not only by your parents you will escape the second death so why don't you take the first option why don't you receive jesus as your lord and personal savior and be born again and escape the second death because it's no joke it's not something any human can run away from so that's the option why don't you take that now and stop worrying yourself and stop having nightmare and be free mentally spiritually that the second death will not have any power over you and i said do you want to be born again he said no 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 i've just come to let you know that you should stop traumatizing people i said wow god said i've said before you life and death choose life not death so the choice is yours don't stop me again and talk to me about this because god has given you a second offer you are not taking it my fellow street preacher you know sometimes when we are there preaching people think we are screaming we are shouting there is no sense nobody is listening nobody is stopping and sometimes it can be very discouraging but for me i i'm i'm never discouraged even if the place is empty i know somebody is listening i know somebody is hearing so i don't get discouraged but in case you're a street preacher and you get discouraged because nobody comes forward to give their life to jesus nobody responds don't get discouraged because you don't know who is listening i never saw this man i've never met him anywhere i didn't even know where exactly he heard me preach he didn't mention but for him to be saying what he said i am sure he's not the only person who has been having nightmares sleepless night and battling with simple words that the holy spirit said through me if you are born once you will die twice i'm just echoing what the lord jesus said and what the bible says so fellow preacher when you stand there preach your best don't leave your best preaching for your church don't leave your best preaching in the church building and in the temple let your best preaching be outside you know jesus gave the best preaching <laughs> which we call the sermon on the mount it was outside the church not in the synagogue all the best teachings of jesus came outside the church but when most of the synagogue preaching is when it was rather picky on the religious so go ahead keep on preaching whether somebody is hearing you nobody is hearing you but preach your best preachings on the streets that is what people will remember of you i love you so much and i encourage you don't be discouraged your preaching is piercing hearts that you may never met the lord bless you all keep going i love you speaking truth to you the lord bless you